All right, I just got a question from uh, Breakthrough Banjo course member Richard, uh, and it's a question about something he saw on a tab, um, something I know that uh, other folks might have questions about. Uh, so I figured I'd make a short video just to explain it. And um, the uh, question is around instances in the tab where you see uh, a hammer-on or pull-off with the fretting hand and at the same time you see another note being struck simultaneously with the picking hand. And so when you encounter this uh, sort of thing in tab, uh, if you're unfamiliar with it, it may cause your brain to freeze up. Um, so I'm just going to give you um, a helpful little trick uh, to make sure that doesn't happen to you. So here is the phrase in question that he sent about. So it's uh, this is this is how it uh, sounds. All right. So again, in this instance, we're having this pull off uh, happening at the same time we're picking the open second string. But again, that kind of simultaneous um, uh, those simultaneous notes can trip people up. So what I'd recommend uh, if you struggle with this at all, uh, or if you're if it's the first time you're kind of doing this sort of thing, um, is to start by uh, look, imagining the tab or the phrase without the um, hammer on or pull off. So in this case, it would be like this. Okay, so I've just taken out that pull off and played it otherwise the same. All right. And that's because my picking hand is not going to do anything differently that way of playing it or the uh, the way it was tabbed out with the pull-off. So now I'm going to add in the pull-off, but I'm just going to do the same exact thing with my um, left hand. Okay, so all I did there was just once I hit that third string, I pulled off as I'm doing you know the same exact stuff with my uh, picking hand. All right. So again, that's the key with these with these with these phrases is is first just imagine them without it and and play it with your get the pattern in your um, picking hand and then add in the um, embellishment the the hammer on or the pull off or the slide. So another common spot where you see this is in the classic Scruggs lick. Okay, like the ending lick that you hear so commonly. Um, so here we have either a slider, hammer-on, um, executed there, and then you have this open first string coming in at the same time you're moving to that uh, third uh, fret of the third string, either with a hammer-on or a, or a slide. So again, in this instance, you can drop that, um, that slide, just play it without it, which would sound like this. Again, I just removed the slide. Now, all I have to do is play the same exact thing with my picking hand and just add in the slide. Okay? It just, you know, when you see, when you think you're supposed to do two things at once with both hands, um, that's when you tend to freeze and get tripped up. But again, it's really no different than, you know, playing the piano where we can play two, two notes at the same time with each of our hands. We can play two strings at the same time with each of our hands uh, with these um, fretting hand um, techniques. All right, so hopefully that clarifies what it is you're supposed to do in these situations and how you can kind of uh, get your brain wrapped around it if you're having any trouble. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments.